I'm with this Complexion What's up guys, Chris Flores here, Flow Fitness, and welcome to Flow Fridays. And I got an important topic I want to talk about today. Today's topic is the difference between a fitness professional and a fitness enthusiast. Now there is a difference between the two. Now before we get into that, I want to clear something up. Oftentimes, people are both. There's people who love the research, love getting into the fitness professional world, but also love the kick butt exercise, the drag them out, the exhaustion craziness of a fitness enthusiast. Now the reason I'm bringing this topic up is because for the client's perspective, oftentimes they can't tell the difference between the two, and sometimes they go to an enthusiast when they need a professional, and a professional when they need an enthusiast. So I want to try and break it down, but I do want people to comment and respond on what they think the difference is, so that way you can get some kind of dialogue between the two. A fitness enthusiast tends to be, and not always, is a person who loves to work out. Like they love the crazy workouts. They love to work out sometimes two, sometimes three times a day because they just love being in the gym or they love being in the outdoors and they just can't get enough of exercise. That's the person when you go on vacation with them or if you chill with them, they're like, yo guys, let's go do a crazy uh, Tabata workout in the park by the rocks. And it's like, yo bro, I just want to chill. Like I'm not here to work out. But they love working out so much that that's what they want to do all the time. Oftentimes, again, not always, the enthusiast tends to be someone who does a group fitness class. They like being in front of a crowd. They like kicking people's butt and being up there and running around and cheering. They're so enthusiastic about what they do. They want to share their passion with everyone. Again, not a bad thing. It's just a different type of approach. Oftentimes, the enthusiast tends to not really understand how exercise works and how it affects certain people's body. Because they're so passionate about it and they love doing it, they want to do that more extreme workout. They want to do the Tough Mothers. They want to do the Spartan races over and over again. They want to do the crazy workouts where they can't walk the next day or when they're so exhausted and they love that feeling of, oh my God, I'm so sore I couldn't walk up the stairs or I couldn't lift my arm up. They enjoy this type of stuff. And that's the enthusiast. Again, it's not a bad thing. I'm not saying either of these are bad or good. I just want people to understand the difference between the two. Your fitness professional tends to be that person who loves the science part of exercise. They want to research it. They want to understand how the body works. They want to understand biomechanics. They want to understand nutrition. These are the people who tend to put more effort and time into the studying aspect of it. They're the people who, you, when you walk in the gym and you ask them a question, you ask them, hey, what can I do for my arms? And they'll sit there and give you a two and a half hour reason as to why a bicep curl may not be the best exercise for you. These people can also develop some amazing programs as far as getting your body where it needs to be. They're the ones who can write out that 10 to 15 page program that's going to get you exactly to where you want to get to. The oftentimes issue with these people is that they're too much into the professional aspect of it. They're too caught up into the science and they don't have that personality that's going to capture you or make you want to continually go to them. They get so stuck in that in that heady world of fitness that they really forget about the personal interaction between you and the client. Now the reason I'm bringing this topic up is because sometimes people go to the fitness enthusiast for let's say hey I want to do a cardio class I want to go crazy but my elbow hurts but my knee have a knee issue or my shoulder hurts and the enthusiast doesn't really understand how to correct that or doesn't understand how their anterior chain dominant workout or their flexion based program is affecting their client in a negative way causing injuries, causing illness, causing things to happen in that person's body. They don't understand that aspect of it. Once again, this is not always the case, but oftentimes this is what I'm seeing a trend of. They don't understand how their program makes no sense because there's no rotational exercise, or there's no anti-rotation, or there's no posterior chain stuff. It's every go, 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 go. The fitness professional, on the other hand, understands a lot of this stuff, understands how the body works and everything, but they don't understand why they can't keep clients and the reason being is because they're so caught up in the science part that they, they forget about the fun, exciting exercise stuff that the fitness enthusiast does. They forget why people love fitness in the first place. It's not just about the science. People go to you because they want to feel better. They want someone to inspire them. They want someone to motivate them. They don't just want a novel on how to work out. So the point is we should have some kind of balance in the middle. You want to have a program that's sound 
that is exciting to people to go to. They want to they want to be there. They want to be in your environment. You should have something that incorporates that. But on the flip side, when a fitness pro looks at it, they should see that, oh, wow, okay, I see that they did this unilateral exercise here versus this bilateral exercise here versus this rotational exercise versus this posterior chain, anterior chain, transverse plane. You know, they want to see that you have all that into your program. So it's really important to have a combination of the two so that you have the most effective program for your clients to get the best results. With that being said, you have to understand the difference between these two worlds as a client. For those clients out there, for the people who are out there wondering who I should go to, to try to find somebody in the middle. If you have some kind of ailments or some injuries, obviously you see a doctor first, but if you don't see a doctor and you find a fitness professional, someone who understands all these things, then you can, might want to go to them. If you're just, you, you want to be in a group setting and you're finding that you're not motivated, you're not inspired, and you just don't have that energy, that that pizzazz for the gym, like you hate being there, you might want to find a fitness enthusiast because that might be the person to get you pumped, to get you excited, to, to turn you into a fitness person that you really understand it and you really enjoy going to the gym because that person's energy is so great that you just want to be around them. And sometimes that may be the person you need. So for the clients out there, for the people looking to get into fitness and want to exercise, you want to find what you need most. So understand there's a difference between a fitness enthusiast and the fitness professional. If you find someone who's kind of in the middle of the two, that may be the best route to go. And for those people out there who are watching this who are fitness pros, you may need to understand what side of that scale that you're sitting on and maybe find, all right, maybe I'm, I'm enthusiastic, I know all this stuff, but I really don't understand biomechanics. I don't understand how the body works. You may need to find a fitness pro in your area, someone who can help you out to give you that stuff you're missing because that may be the missing link between where you are now and where you want to be. Vice versa, the fitness professionals, the people who are really deep into the science of it, who love research, who love understanding all the stuff, you may need to look at the fitness enthusiasts and wonder why am I not getting those clients? Why hasn't my career jumped? And maybe it's because you're it sounds, I don't want to sound bad, but maybe it's because you're boring. Maybe your programs are very boring and you need to get a little more of that enthusiast or what the fitness enthusiasts do, understand how they keep their clientele. There's a reason why people buy the insanity programs besides the fact that you know they're, they're short or duration, but it's the excitement, it's that energy that it brings that they need in their life and that's why they purchase these things. So you need to understand how this all comes together to form this whole world and this globe of fitness that we think of. So that's my advice for you guys. Once again, I want to start dialogue between the two worlds. So be sure to comment, be sure to share, be sure to leave a message on the bottom saying, you know, what information you may need. If you're a fitness pro, you want to find people in your area who are fitness enthusiasts. If you're a fitness enthusiast and you want to find people give you more information on, on the fitness pro side, you know, let's get this dialogue going between the two worlds and kind of bring each other together to help the greater good, which is our clients and the athletes or the people that we're working with. So that's my advice for you guys. Chris Flores, Flow Fitness. See you guys. Later.